G'day Alex, uh, got everything in the box here, so quick demonstration on how to put it all together. You'll need one of these, 2.5mm hex screwdriver. I don't know if that's going to focus, probably not. Alright, so here it is all in the box. So Obviously I've only got a couple latches done up. Okay. Oop. Sorry, tripod's up there, very good. Alright, so first thing we do is take the batteries out of the way. Um, that's your, uh, your video transmitter, I'll show you how to put that on in a sec. You'll notice it's a, it's a battery retention clip. Set that aside, that's your double adapter for your batteries, so two batteries go in to one point. Uh, okay, so... This is your landing gear that just sits on top. What you need to do is put it together. You can run that wire around like that. That'll be underneath the uh, S800. And then you just put it in together like that. So that's the top of the part with the tabs that point upwards. That's the top. Now to stop it from wobbling like that, you use this battery connector, a battery retention. So you'll notice there's a, a lip. So what will happen is, uh, that's your battery tray there. That will slot in underneath and click in on place like that. So this needs to go, just slide on the back, just over the rubber ends. And once it's all on, just use your little hex screwdriver Tighten them up. Now the landing gear is in the up position, but what we're going to do is put it down. So you'll notice there's a blue underneath. There's a little blue tongue. You just sort of push it, and that retracts that landing gear manually. And then there's another one on the other side. It's off screen there. I don't know if you can see that, that little blue tongue. You just sort of push it and, and manipulate the leg at the same time. Okay. And there's our landing gear. Okay, next step, remove this piece of foam. And underneath is all the goodies. So you've got your props. So set those aside for now. We've got the center hub of the S800. Okay, so all the cords come out that side. And there's three other servo connectors there. You can put your GPS up and put it into place. By by tightening that, spin it on. You can set that aside as well. Transmitter with the screen. Your battery charger, I'll show you how the battery charger works later on. And a gimbal. So the gimbal fits in here nice and snug. I like it like that so it doesn't bounce around too much in travel. So you've really got to try and get it out. There's the gimbal. Okay, so first thing you want to do is get the gimbal on the landing gear. Um, so you'll notice that there are two antenna that hang out the front of the vibration absorbers. That's the uh, that's the antenna uh, that goes up to your receiver. That's the uh, the GCU for the Zemus for the gimbal. So that controls the gimbal. You got a power cord that comes out the back as well. So what I'd do, you'll find there's two little U-shaped clamps at the back. You bring it up underneath. Actually, first you sorry, you slot the two front ones on first, just on over the rubber coils, or the rubber ends, and then the back ones you've got to sort of manipulate that U clamp over the top and on this side as well. Sometimes you might need to give it a bit. You don't want to break the screw, so just be careful. Uh, like that. And there'll be two screws. I'll put these in a little plastic bag. They're just two screws. And they're for the back over here, so... Let's tighten those up.
and the other side as well. We'll need to tighten both screws. And then the front ones, just making sure it's all straight too, like all, the, all your edges are straight. Tighten that, and tighten that. And there you go, your gimbal's now mounted to your landing gear. Um, okay, so the second thing you want to do is a power cord that runs off the landing gear and the power cord that comes off the gimbal. There's only one way it can go. There's a female and a male. You put the male in the female. Well, what you want to do is actually run it over the top too. So, I want to do it again. So, a bit stiff. So, you want to run that around that little center hub and uh, just so it, it all holds up when it's in air. It's not bouncing. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it again. So just run that around and run that around just so it holds it when it's in the air. Okay. Um, so at this point you want to make sure your little servo connector here is not in the way, just hold it out. So next step is your video transmitter. 3.5mm jack, plugs into the back of the GCU. It's a Zemus, where the, where the power cord goes into the left of it, there's a little 3.5mm jack. So that plugs in. And again, I like to run it around the center uh, beam, hold it all in place. And then on the back you'll find, I've just got a little bit of tape, pull the red off, and then you can stick it on that left arm with the uh, with the antenna facing down. So when that landing gear comes up, it's gonna be there facing all directions. Okay, so next step is putting your props on. Okay. So I've got ones with red. They're the back ones, so you'll find there's an X. There's two X's on there. You've got to marry up the X's. So the back of the aircraft is where the IMU sensor is, so all the GPS and IMU at the back. So you find the X at the back. There's X's there. Slot underneath, bring up, pull that clamp on nice and tight. And then the counterclockwise, so X and O's. You want to marry up the X's and the O's. Nice and tight. I'll go through and do the rest. Okay, next step with your landing gear. I'll place it back the other way actually. So, gimbal's on the front, so that's the front. Find the front of the craft, which you look at the IMU and the compass there at the back, so craft is front that way. Make sure your cords, so I'm gonna bring them up and over so they don't get in the way. The LED, that's your little LED there, so I'll show you that in a sec. Like that. Now you want to marry them up to all the little screws, they'll just flot on, and then you want to go through and turn all of them clockwise, nice and tight. Alright, now this is the most important part, I want to show you where everything plugs in. So now you can bring everything, all the cords down. Okay. So I'm hoping you can see. So first one, is this little power cord. That's what feeds the landing gear and the Zemu. So underneath, you'll find the other female and the male goes into the female there. So you've now got power coming from the center hub to the landing gear and the Zemus. Next, you've got a, a CAN bus port. So you want to just run that over. Ah, it's a bit hard to show, so I'll move it around. So I run it underneath, and it goes into the side of the GCU. There's a port for it on the side of the GCU. I don't know if you can see that. It's a bit dark, but oops, it goes to the side there. 
that runs underneath. Just bring it back over here. Okay, next, you got your LED. LED, I just run around the leg, and there's a bit of Velcro on the side, it just attaches to the Velcro. You can't see it. Hang on. So, down here, a bit of Velcro, just run it, spin it around the leg, attach it to the Velcro facing back so you'll be able to see that. It's the LED. And then lastly, that's your power cord. So it's got all your sensor array on it. So that's your voltage sensor, your amp sensor, and your variometer, which measures height. So what you'll do next is you'll get your battery and your battery holder. So you just slot it under the Velcro. This is the Velcro I was talking about. You'll need to get some bigger Velcro or longer Velcro to be able to hold two batteries. So. So if you want two, you're going to have to mount them sideways instead of that way, mount them sideways together and have a bigger piece of Velcro. So this, oops, just slots underneath. There's two little arms uh, we're on, on, underneath that that slots into. And then the back one as well, clips on. All right, this is probably going to be fuzzy, but uh, basically you want to get the balance port of your battery and plug it into these, there's six pins on the side of there. So you want to make sure you look at the back of it. We can't see, but there's a 6S, 5S, 4S, 3S, 2S, 1S, and then ground. So the black one goes into the ground, red one goes into the top one. And then obviously that plugs into the main, the main yellow port there when, you want it, when you're ready to power it on. You'll see there, you can see the volts of all the batteries because of voltage readout and you'll see those volts on your transmitter. When you're ready to power on, you connect those two on there. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's how you set it all back together. Oh, no, I forgot one thing. So at the front of the craft, you've got two servos. Uh, one's got a yellow, red and brown. One's yellow, red and black. The yellow, red and brown, you want to plug that into your S bus connected so that's that's got a, a little um, extension cord on it so you want to marry up so it's signal power ground so signals white red is power black is ground you want to marry it up there so the the brown of the ground there and the black of the ground there connect that goes in and then you can tuck that out of the way and then this is your sensor array connector it goes into the smart smart port so again, you got on here. It's got S plus and minus. So you want to put the the ground in the minus. Just plug it into the side, and that's ready to go. There is one more here. This this is actually the uh, the landing gear servo. So again, that goes up in there. You've got two servo wires coming in from each servo on each landing gear, and then there's a, a port called in. So it goes up into the in. Bearing in mind, brown is negative and then that plugs straight in. All right, how to charge your battery. Pretty easy. Uh, you just get your, I think I'm blocking the light here. Yep. So you get your balance port on your battery and just plug it into, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five. It only fits one. So find the one that's the same length as the battery, plug it in. And then also the main, the main power cord, plug it in. Battery's now connected, so I've actually saved it, so if you go to load, there's a part called load, and the top left here says LiPo 6S balance, 8 amps, um, you press it once, and then hit start, and that starts to charge the battery. So these batteries take about anywhere between one and one and a half hours to charge, depending on how much you use. Okay, so I've got it all turned on now. Uh, what I want to show you is the telemetry readout. Okay, so on there you can see you've got top left, 22 volts total. Uh, you've got 28 amps being used at the moment. That's your uh, receiver strength, 92, 94, so that's pretty strong. So if that gets down to like 20, 30, that's when you know you're bad. Uh, current, 1.2 at the moment. Uh, cells, that gives you the lowest cell readout, so your lowest cell is at 3.68 at the moment. The altitude, you're about, 
Yeah. Trying to cover. If you get too close to the receiver, it says that. So as you move closer to it, it you. Yeah. So that's only when you're too close. Um, uh, total sales 22. Consumption you use 25 milliamp hours out of 8,000. I would only ever fly to 6,400 of my 8,000 milliamps. 80% of your battery it means the batteries last longer. So you know that when that gets to 6,400, that's when your battery's empty. And then uh, I don't know what altitude plus. Miles, I don't know what altitude plus is, but that's your uh, your over alti overall altitude. It's moving around tonight because it's probably ambient temperature and whatnot. If you press the page button over here, you got page. So to, to even get to this page, first of all, that's how it starts out. So what you want to do to get to that page is just hold down the page button, brings up your telemetry, and you can scroll through different pages. So that's showing it's your, your, lo your lowest. Ah, shut up. It shows that your lowest cell is almost empty. So this is an empty battery. Uh, on this screen, on the on the right, you can see all your cells. So it's saying that, uh, you know, 3.6, 3.68, 3.7, so they're all low. So I usually fly on this screen so I can monitor all the cells. Um, and that way I know if one of them goes crazy, I can bring it straight down. Uh, and there's some other pages, but I usually fly either on that main page there with all the info, or the third page, which has the cell readout. Um, just going through the... Uh, the button, so top right, you got this big long Telemetry stick. Oh, that's really annoying. It's in GPS mode, so it'll flash. You can see in the thing, it's got one red flash, one purple flash. One red means it hasn't got GPS. Purple means it's in GPS, GPS mode. If I flick it down, down one to the middle, it's in Addy, so it flashes a yellow mode. And then manual mode, you don't even want to muck around with manual mode. Don't ever use it. It's too hard to fly. So back into Addy mode, orange, and purple for blue for um, GPS mode. Over on this side, the other side. Telemetry miles. Telemetry recovered. <sighs> Sorry. Telemetry miles. Telemetry recovered. It's because I'm too close to the receiver, it loses its connection. This stick here is your IOC, Intelligent Orientation Control. Flick it down once, you get a green and a purple flash. And that, uh, you have to Google that, IOC. I, intelligent orientation control, that'll tell you all about it. Uh, you got your gimbal tilt, you can see the gimbal tilting, so that's this one here. So that's tilting your gimbal. You gotta take a picture, it's this one here. So up will be a picture, down will be starting to record, and you'll see it on your screen. I've taken the screen off, but you'll see it on the screen, it'll start recording or take a picture and, and whatnot. Telemetry last. Telemetry recovered. And then your landing gear is over here on SD. 